Our next matchup here was Austin Theory taking on Mustafa Ali. And I like this because there is that rivalry there with Seth freaking Rollins, who did end up coming out, and him and Corey Graves were being, I'll be honest with you, kind of obnoxious at ringside, but I understand why. Can, can we do something with Theory and this Money in the Bank already? They even hinted that Theory is going to be cashing in Money in the Bank for the United States champion, or they implied it. No. No, 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 no. That's, that's not how this works. You... The briefcases on Theory. Have him go for a main champion. To be honest with you, if you want to save this Austin Theory shit, have him go for the NXT champion and win that title. How incredibly heelish would that be? And people are like, oh, well, that would be a kind of a downgrade to it. I'll be honest with you, I don't think Theory should have been on the main roster right now in the first place. I don't think he's ready yet. But... I think putting, putting him back into NXT has multiple benefits. Not only has Theory been, I would say, upper mid-card on Raw for the last year, but you also have that benefit of him getting rid of Money in the Bank, getting a nice little jolt back into the main event of NXT because right now they really need the help, and overall. But let's go back to this match because... It was a fine match. I I just kind of wish it was for something. And especially given the rivalry and everything going on, maybe they should have hinted at Austin Theory cashing in money in the bank against Rollins, even though it makes no sense whatsoever. But I think that would have made this match feel a little bit more than what it actually was. And at least it was worked hard and all of that. But there was just something missing from it. And I can't figure out what it was. It wasn't wrestling in ring work because these two did do a fine match and I really wouldn't have done anything different there. But overall, it just felt off. And it was the A-Town down after a Seth Rollins distraction for Austin to pick up the victory. I thought that was fine. Rollins with a post-match. I don't know what they want to do with Ali, but the brawl between Rollins and Ali after the match was good. It shows aggression. It shows more dynamic. And also, it's getting worse and worse as time progresses. Overall, I'm going to be okay with it, despite my criticisms there. I'll still give it an Orange Cassidy thumbs up. And to be honest with you, that is being nice.